hey, if you've been in a marriage and been wondering what happens that your husband suddenly changed and he considers family before he does something for you, or he consults his mother or sisters before he does something for you, or he lately changed his mind or attitude towards you, by first of all, seeking their attention, consult them or their opinion before he does something for you, and be wondering what to do, and you think you're the only person in the picture, this video is for you. Welcome again to another interesting episode of my talk show today. How on a day? I hope you're all doing great and thank you for stopping by. So if today is your first time of coming to this my wonderful channel, kindly click on subscribe button there. To subscribe then give this video a thumb up and activate the notification bell. Yeah, all right. Someone asked me what this activation bell I've always mentioned. Notification bell. I've always mentioned what does it mean? He said he only comes here to watch my videos and go. He doesn't understand what it means. Okay, in case if you are the type. So what that bell means is when you click on it, it gets activated. It highlights black, tick black. It means that whenever this person makes an upload, if the person you've activated his or her bell uploads video on YouTube, immediately you will be notified. Do you understand? So you don't need to be told or read anywhere or see it pasted anywhere before you can come to watch the person's video. In this case now, you will be automatically notified by the message popping up on your phone that this person has uploaded a video, a new video. So all you need to do is to click on that link and it will take you directly to the person's channel and you start watching that video. That, what it means. that being said, please share this video after watching and you found it interesting and please don't skip and don't drag it instead of dragging it instead of skipping just watch to a reasonable minute as much or as little you can and stop please don't skip and write okay thank you so today there was this message i saw on instagram so this is not directly my case it wasn't brought to me i saw it on instagram so if you follow just lover if you're a just lover follower on instagram you should see one post that was i think few days ago she posted it i read it i wanted to put it up here but i'm not sure i can so but if you see it fine if you don't i may not be able to put it up here so this message if you read it you will become touched you begin to wonder what some people think they've brought in a woman in their life to be as slaves as mate, as servant, or as what? I don't understand. So I'll quickly go straight to this message. When I read it, I said, no, I must talk about it. And funny enough, as I commented, someone under my comment responded, nah, you must speak on this. You know, I said, don't worry. I'm going to do that, but it's going to be on my YouTube channel, not here on Instagram. She said, she was pregnant and the husband was away. So the husband does not reside in the same country this is nigeria with her so the husband resides in the states but here she stays alone while the mother-in-law and the sister-in-laws that were in the village have come to stay with her in the city because she was due for delivery so when she went for checkup after proper and thorough um diagnosis and um yeah so the doctor discovered that she could not deliver like a normal self delivery that she was gonna go on the go cs that is mm, surgery that she was gonna put her put to bed through surgery let me not bite my lips yeah that she was gonna put to bed through surgery that was what the doctor recommended so she communicated her husband with the latest information and the husband's okay and she she told the husband how much doctor said it was gonna take to perform the surgery I hope you are following this. Take your time to understand this story. And you're going to drop your opinion in the comment section. You're going to tell us what you think or advice. What should this person do? So, when she communicated, well, this chaka 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 has always been the case. Each time I'm doing my video, please, my studio is close to the road. So, that's what I can do. Vehicles would pass and home. So, these people dealing with one, pro one product or the other would pass. 
not everything I can cut, cut I can't always post my video because of all this so you have to bear with me please thank you for your understanding so when she communicated this to the husband that she was going to undergo a surgery and it was going to cost this amount the husband said okay I was going to send the money so according to her a day to the surgery time she hasn't heard from her husband so she started calling this guy and the number wasn't going through so she was not calling the mother in law and the sisters in law please have you heard from my husband he said no that they can't even reach him she was like the money for the surgery has not come yet and the surgery is tomorrow what is he going to do and those ones we are really helping her to bring up ideas see if you have any property to sell what do we do since we've not heard from him till now and he hasn't communicated to you and we can't reach him what do we do what can we do? So they were trying to reason out ideas on what to do. This lady kept calling the husband. The number never gone through. So she became so stressed. She became so frustrated, so stranded. I didn't know what to do. So she had to go to the hospital to complain to the doctor. Please, is that anyhow you can help me perform this? My husband is going to send money. But till now, I haven't heard from him. I don't know what happened. His lines never gone through. So... What can you please do for me? The man said, no money, no surgery. You can imagine, his life, her life was at stake. So, what could she do? She started calling her family. You know, she called her sister who said, please, your life is more important. I have a property. Carry this document. Go and t t take it to the doctor. Let him keep it. We aren't giving him the property. Now that are always selling the property to him in exchange. But the thing is, let him keep this property as a pledge. Yeah, a pledge. So if this money comes, we collect back our documents. Otherwise, we'll find a way. But at least let him hold something and save your life. While on labor, um, yeah, going to the crisis of uh, this child's birth, she still was trying the husband's number while in the hospital. Number never gone through. And the man never tried to call. He was aware on this date, this woman was going to undergo a surgery. But she, he never called. Neither did the number go through. This woman even was like, I hope he is all right. This is quite unlike him. He can't keep me in the dark like this. This is quite unlike him. And she was asking the mother-in-law, have you heard from your son? She said, no, he hasn't called her. I've been, I've been trying to reach him. The number hasn't gone through. The sister's in law, what about He said, no, we too have tried. The number hasn't gone through. Do you understand? So they were all, all they, they all pretended they were um, not comfortable, not reaching this guy. What is wrong? I hope all is well, you know, while they were in the hospital with this lady. So she now brought the document said, doctor, please keep this document, please. If money comes, I'm going to collect it back. At least perform this surgery. While she entered the labor room for the surgery to be performed, she still tried this number again. The number didn't go. Neither did he call. He was like, well, let my life be saved. So why you, you know, she was thinking, she was thinking and the things they needed to buy, get blood, get this, she couldn't get anything because there was no money, no little cash available with her. She couldn't buy any required items, especially blood. No blood was faked and she lost a hell lot of blood while the surgery was going on. Lo and behold, she lost the baby. What I even told her it was 50 because her life was at risk. They tried to save her life and the baby died. This was the, the, because she didn't bring the money on time. No one, no one was, she didn't even bring any money. So the blood, blood that was required to buy, they didn't buy any blood. And she lost plenty of blood, according to her. Enough blood. She lost enough blood and no money to buy some required, according to her, drug, this and that, all those spray requisite before the surgery. She didn't buy any. And the mother in law and the in law were there praying that God should help, you know, put. Let me not break the message until I get there. So God saved her, but she lost the baby. Baby boy, she lost the baby. You know. After the surgery, immediately she was brought out of the theater. The husband called. You know. So, and she was like, what happened? You didn't send the money? The baby is dead. I managed to survive because I didn't have blood. No money to buy blood to fix. Why did you treat me this way? What happened? Your number never gone through and you never called and you knew I was going to enter 
theatre today. I am never cold. Any issue, you catch me in the dark, get me in suspense, you know. My dearies, do you know what the husband told her? I sent the money to my mother. Then I sent another money. The one I sent to my mother was for the surgery. The money the doctor charged for the surgery. But the one I sent to my sister's account was to buy these items, you the prerequisite items before the surgery. Sorry, there was an interruption, guys, so I need to <clears throat> pause the video. So what I was trying to say is, do you know what the husband told her? I sent the money for surgery with Dr. Charge in my mother's account. Then, the ones for the items, the prerequisite items before the operation, I sent to my sister's account. She was like, no, you, you aren't serious. Are you serious? Are you saying the truth right now? Okay, fine, before I confront them, why did you do that? Do your mother said... She never heard from you. Your sister said she never heard from you. Are you sending you sent money to them for this surgery? And they're in the hospital with me, hoping me to beg the doctor to do the right thing? Are you serious right now? Okay, fine. Before I confront them, why did you do that? And the husband said, my dear is the husband her husband, she said yes to. She said I do. She followed to the altar to said Eh, um, because it is surgery, not all that go in there come out alive. So in case anything happens, that was why I sent the money to my mother's account. So I wouldn't want the life to be lost and the money to be lost. Did you get that? I take it again. The husband said he sent the money to the wife's, to the mother's account, instead of the wife's account. And, you know, in case, and asked her not to let the woman know, in case. If she doesn't come out alive, let the life not be lost and the money be lost at the same time. So in case she loses her life, let the money stay. Do you understand? Did you get the point? And the sister, why do you send the, the one required to buy blood and some other things? Why do you send it to the sister's account? The same uh, reason. Uh, let me not lose this side and lose the other side. This is what the husband said to the wife. That passed through surgery to deliver. I mean, while she died, the, sorry, the baby died on the process because of no money to buy blood, buy this, buy some other things she required to be given before the surgery. Do you understand? If you you general hospital in Nigeria, you would know that 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 you buy things you use. Hospitals don't provide those things. This is the reason the husband gave. She tried to calm her anger. She now asked mother, you know, mama, is it true? Eh, eh, now, mm, uh, you know. So that's the same reason he gave you. That was my own reason. I couldn't have released the money. That's so, that such a huge amount of money. What if anything happens and you don't come out alive? So we lose the money and lose life. Sister-in-law, why did you not tell me that there was money at least to buy you blood. Yeah, when we're looking for blood, to buy blood. blood. Hey, my mother said we, shouldn't, we should be careful so I don't lose both sides. This is what a family connived and, and, and did to a woman that was under labor. Do you understand? <laughs> she concluded by saying uh, this her husband was a nice man. Uh, maybe it was the mother and the sister that convinced well, that is what please we need to opinion on the comment section but before you all look opinion my is this man doesn't worth living with this particular human being was the perpetrator who engineered the whole thing that happened all the stress she passed through and the baby that she lost within tango she came out alive doctor never said she may not make it so it was the family that had the meeting against this woman saying she may not come out including her own husband the same man that told the woman and the sister-in-law I mean the mother and the sister-in-law don't give this money yet until she comes out alive meanwhile the money sent to the sister's sister-in-law's account was to be used to buy the item that was required to save life and the husband said, don't give this money out until she comes out alive. So I don't lose both sides. <laughs> now, what I'm saying is, it's just simple. That marriage doesn't want staying in. That marriage doesn't want staying in. If she stays there any further, the next plan there might be to find a way to push her aside and bring in someone that would conceive and have the baby safely without going through all that and the baby wouldn't die. This is the next plot they're going to plot against her if she doesn't 
take any step. Okay, now she is saying, fine, before she says Jack, can they bring her this morning now? Let her deposit to the doctor and bring out her sister's document for the property. And the mother in law says, no, the money was for the baby. The baby is not alive, so it is not for documents. You or your family should sort that one out within yourselves. Do you understand? So what would you do if you were in her shoe? And since you aren't in her shoe, what do you suggest she do? But my own idea, suggestion and opinion is that mother, does, that guy doesn't do what living with. This same guy that said, I told them not to pay this money in case you don't come out alive. I didn't send this money to you because I don't know what would happen. What if you don't come out alive? Money would get lost, would, yeah, and life would be lost. So how can you marry someone that reasons this way, that treats you this way, that visualize? The doctor never says she may not make it. He is saying because it is surgery, you may not make it. Therefore, don't give the money. Even the one that was required to buy items that was to be used before the surgery, he said don't release in case she doesn't come out alive. So what does she need to be alive? The money that they refused to bring. What was she needed to be alive and the money didn't come? Baby died because they refused to release this money. So do you suggest she still remains in this marriage? No, I don't suggest that. She should pack her things and leave that place. It is better to live. L-E-A-V-E. -E. Live to live. Live to live. Do you understand? That is my opinion. Please say your own. I don't want to say much on this because this one, without if we even someone saying something, you've already known what to do. But this is what I tell her: she should pack her, pick her things, and leave that place. She should go and start her life afresh. God has a way of blessing. If you, the thing is, see this thing called marriage. Mm? If you aren't with the right person, things will keep going wrong. No matter how people advise you to stay, it was a nice person. What kind of niceness would you say of a man that wishes you dead? That predicted your own death. What kind of niceness would you say of him? Is it for material things? No. So he isn't nice. I would never be nice. So I suggest that she picks her things and leave that marriage and go and pick her life from where is where this family has dropped it and begin to amend it little by little. That is my own. So give your own opinion on the comment section. Please give your own opinion. Don't tell me nice sharing. Don't say thanks for sharing. Don't say I watch to the end. Please drop your opinion. She needs your opinion. Thank you so much. If you want to this end, it's quite appreciated. Yeah, premium. I do want to premiere this, but because I, I, it gets long, so I now say, okay, let me premiere it. Please drop your opinion in the comment section. That's all for this video. If you found this video interesting and I want other people that is an expert you know somewhere, you need the person's opinion. Share this video to the person. Share to your platform for people to see what happened. They can learn from it. They can advise her. i see you again on my next video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Please, if you can super chat this video, I will appreciate it. If you can super thank it after now, I will appreciate it. If you want to join my membership, that is kudos. I would appreciate that. If you can do it to help me grow, that's fine. Thank you so much. Till I see you again on my next video, stay safe.